Hey everyone. So one of the funniest incidents that I've seen recently apparently got a big conclusion. This one slipped under the radar of a lot of people somehow, but at least some of you have probably seen this clip from a Eagles football game where a guy in Eagles garb can be seen faking an injury in the stands after harassing another fan. He rolls around on the floor and then can be seen even kicking out at our main character's leg and generally beclowning himself in front of all these thousands of nice people. The footage is extremely ridiculous, almost as ridiculous as the man himself. And there is some backstory here that is very juicy. But first, let's roll the clip. This happened at the Eagles game today. I knew it was coming. He was rude the entire game. Now that's obviously nuts, but here's where I'm going to throw you a curveball. The man you just watched has recently received some punishment. Only in this case, I actually have absolutely no clue who recorded this video, what happened to them, or if this man will ever be charged for what he did here. In fact, this man's punishment comes from a separate, totally unrelated incident that just so happened to unfold at exactly the same time. And now that he's been identified as the same guy from the video, it's easy to see the legal consequences of his, uh, I guess you'd call it an attack on this woman, um, even though it was a pretty ineffectual one. Uh, it's easy to see the consequences of that attack coming down the pipe. See, the internet managed to track this guy down pretty fast, actually, and as it turns out, his name is 60-year-old retired software engineer Robert Derwin. And in the real world, he's a member of the Crestwood School Board, and actually a very new member at that because he ran in the November 7th election of last year and came in sixth in a race to fill five seats before being appointed after another member of the board unexpectedly stepped down. Derwin has only, therefore, held this seat since mid-December. Or maybe I should say had, actually, had a seat, because, you see, Derwin also got into some unaffiliated trouble recently over some comments he made regarding Vice President Kamala Harris. And for the record, I hate getting any kind of political on this channel and will not be doing it. Uh here. But it's a big part of the story, so it's really hard to kind of skip over that facet, right? So Robert Derwin made some comments on Facebook that a local chapter of the NAACP took some issue with, and they released a statement calling for him to actually resign from his board seat over this, but he posted several messages calling Harris a hur and a pig. And I read this and I was honestly, I was thinking, okay, so like this is par for the course, regular petty politician bashing. I don't really see a racial component that would have compelled the NAACP to need to get involved. Uh, okay, well that makes more sense. Actually though, why would you feel compelled to bring race into it like this at all unless you were trying very overtly to make a racially charged comment? Now, to be clear, I don't think we should be canceling people or going after them on the internet for saying mean things about or to politicians. And in fact, I think most people are way too easy on them actually and should be far meaner. But there's a way to do that without being racist about it, right? And besides, wouldn't you convince more people to share in your personal disdain of a politician you hated if you actually articulated the problems you had with their policies, personality, leadership style, and not just these kind of superfluous petty insults? And 
keep it. I, I'm not saying don't pepper them with petty insults. That is absolutely your right. But maybe just mix it in a little bit with some thoughtful dissection, uh, even just a little. Anyway, that's the closest I'm going to get to touching the politics aspect of this. Back to the story at hand. So on January 1st, about two weeks after his appointment to the board, the Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania chapter of the NAACP released a statement calling for Derwin's removal from the board over actually this Facebook post, but also other Facebook posts. Uh, and to be fair, they also seem to be upset more broadly that he was saying mean things about Harris at all. Like I was saying earlier, lost me there, rip them all to shreds, but they do at least have a point that you shouldn't be racist about it. And for my part, I also think there's something to be said for holding our local representatives, especially those in charge of children, to high standards of conduct and temperament, more importantly, because that's just societally wise. So anyway, at this point, Derwin responded by saying that the NAACP never really reached out to him before their statement, saying, One comment I will give. I'm a straight shooter. I'm up front. Frankly, I wouldn't address this in that forum anyway. I'm happy to talk to anybody about anything related to the district at these meetings. Outside of those meetings, if someone wants to argue politics, I will. He also sought to wash his hands of the allegations that he was racist. During a phone interview that happened on January 3rd, so two days after the NAACP released their statement, he said, It wasn't meant to be racist. I don't regret, oh, I do regret, excuse me, I do regret bringing race into it, and if I've offended the black community, I apologize. I don't think it was racist. It wasn't meant to be racist. But he also went out of his way to clarify that he was not in any way apologizing uh, during this apology for the other things he said, adding, there's more than one definition to hur. It's a scandalous person. I could call Joe Biden a hur. No one ever asked me how I mean it. I'm in the real estate business. People who overcharge for rent to me, you're a hur. It may be a word that offends some people, it may be a word that doesn't offend others, he added. And along with these statements, at first, he sticks to his guns and refuses to step down from his role as board member, but by the very next day after this phone interview, uh, Thursday, January 4th, things had changed. The Crestwood School District received the resignation of school board member Robert Derwin on the evening of Wednesday, January 3rd, 2024, effective immediately, the release from Crestwood School District said. The past and recent social media posts and videos of Mr. Robert Derwin do not reflect the standards we hold at the Crestwood School District. Rather, the language and actions are inappropriate and not condoned. End quote. Of the resignation, Derwin noted that he only resigned because of the pressure the incident was putting on his wife and child, not him, furious that he uh, that they had been dragged into this drama. He said, There were idiots on social media, Facebook, Instagram, maybe others, that drug my wife and children into this. I have a thick skin. I would have taken the expletive from anybody. The NAACP, the people in Mountaintop, the people in Philadelphia. I don't care, but to drag my family into it, I had a daughter crying and a wife pissed off, so I resigned." So before he even gets potentially slapped with assault charges for his attack on this woman at the football game, and we've been through so much since that scene that uh, you may have forgotten this was the same guy who pulled a woman's pocket off and kicked her in the shin while flailing helplessly on the filthy ground, before any of that. Derwin has already been spotlighted by internet sleuths for a totally unrelated incident, which means we may get a very juicy update in the not-too-distant future about his legal punishment. But for now, in a super bizarre turn of events, he's been punished already. Uh, and for anyone who might have initially thought that this guy's school board ousting was a harsh call, uh, they now have total proof from the video that this guy shouldn't be a board member of any flavor. I wouldn't put this guy in charge of my laundry. So what do you think? Was this the most coincidental reckoning yet? Is this cosmic karma at work bearing down upon a Karen? Is this really the end of our antagonist's woes and troubles? 
There will, of course, be some political arguing in the comments. Have at it. I literally can't stop you. Uh, well, I guess I could delete all your comments. Not going to do that. Uh, but don't expect me to engage. Okay, that's it for this one. Very funny clip there. And can't wait to see what happens next in the Robert Derwin saga. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the show. And I'll see you later.